Now I'm going to the instruments section. And again, I've seen a website where you pay a hefty subscription for just bucket drumming. So we have uh, three sections of bucket drumming. The basics are my intro to bucket drumming where I teach kids how to hold the mallets, how to play on the bucket. Then I have holiday ideas. And this came from 2020 and 2021 where kids couldn't sing. And so we were writing ideas like crazy for kids to perform holiday material without singing. And then we have Mr. Frank, and I love his materials. He has um, arranged a number of John Jacobson songs. He's arranged some pop songs. Um, I'm going to do everybody say yes. He has um, often got a K2 version for the younger kids and a grade three to five version for the older kids. I would say Mr. Frank and I are quite different as teachers. And I really like his approach. I think they actually combined will make kids better drummers. He's more of a performance drummer. I'm using it more like a band instrument. And that would be the difference. So we have the accompaniment tracks. We have a, a link to it in the song list. And his lessons are self-contained, which is lovely. This is six minutes and 32 seconds. You can sit back with the kids, drum with them. You can walk through the class, helping whoever needs help. But Mr. Frank's on the screen and he's going to teach you. He actually calls himself Mr. Boom Boom. Uh, but love his bucket drumming lessons. Then we have body percussion. And the body percussion is primarily by Christian Mejia from Costa Rica. Christian went to Indonesia on a scholarship and he learned Indonesian style bucket drumming there. He has also delved into the world of um, African style body percussion and his lessons are wonderful. If I look at his basics, um, one, two, three, four, five, very suitable for your lower elementary from six and up very engaging for your upper elementary. And when you get to his level two, I find it a challenge. So your sixes and your sevens and your eights, I would challenge them to learn it. And not only to learn it, but to create their own body percussion patterns. In his uh, level two, he's done some body percussion to pop songs. Freedom Flag is Wave and Flag. So if your kids love the song Wave and Flag, I love that song. Um, they can do body percussion and do it to a pop song. And that would be a great project for middle schoolers. So body percussion, again, I don't know of any other website that has this many instrument methods available to you. Let's look at boom whackers. Um, your littles could do three note songs where there's not too much for them to do. Starting with third grade, I like to start with the five note songs. You know what I did? I left body percussion selected. I have to unselect. Now my boom whackers are here. So you can see I have all these songs that just use C, D, E, F, G, and then they vary, but it's still only five note songs. But a lot of C, D, E, F, G, and I find that really manageable for a third grade class to start with those five notes. So I'm gonna start with intro to C, D, E, F, G, and I'm going to show you, I can make it full screen. And one of the things with this particular update is that I can go from this song, intro to CDE, FG, song number one. I would still do it unaccompanied first. And I can go to song number two just by clicking there and resume full screen. So now I have song number two here. If I select all resources, I can go from the kids' notes to colored notation. And here is my colored boom whacker notation. I have a request into my team to put it back. So it's kids' notes, colored, standard notation without switching. Um, and uh, we're in discussions about when that can happen because we're really, really busy right now. So I can escape from that, but I really do like our boom whackers. We have lots and lots of songs in each level. There's tons of material for you. And then we also have links to pop songs in the boom whacker section. So if I go back to boom whacker, here's pop songs. And these are going to be links. They're going to be external links, but we've got, a, we've leveled them so that if you want something easy, you go here. 
And here's our easy. We've got ladybird, we've got banana foam, pirates of the Caribbean, or you can go to more, more difficult ones if you want. So that's Boomwhackers, uh, guitar and ukulele. We kind of do the same thing with both. So I'm gonna just show you the ukulele. These are one, two, and three chords in C. There is some detuning ukulele around the world, um, but most of us do C. So you can see one chord songs, row, 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 the G7 is optional. And all one chord songs until you get to number 16. So the kids can learn the chords with these one chord songs. They don't have to change. They are going to be really easy for them to do. And as soon as they've got that one chord learned, if we select pop songs, I now can play the lime in the coconut because it only uses C7. I can play chain of fools with C minor, Madeline Mary with only A minor. So this is a really engaging way I've taught my kids to play jambalaya, I would have to say their favorite is Uptown Funk, absolute all-time favorite. So we do that with ukulele, we do that with guitar as well. Teach the chords through folk songs, lots of one chord songs first, and then link to pop songs. Unpitched instruments, this started during COVID, but there's lots of fun materials for your non-pitched instruments, your rhythm sticks, your shakers. And we've got some creating activities in here as well. Holiday activities for unpitched. Again, those came out of the COVID year, but no reason you can't use them still. Um, ORF, this is Bethany Ellen's materials. She is an amazing teacher. I've seen her teach in Australia. She's now teaching in British Columbia. And this week she's actually at the ORF Institute in Salzburg. So she's truly an amazing teacher. And her materials are really good and there's lots of video support. So she gives videos of how she would introduce it. So if you're new to the ORF process, her materials are very good. And then we have Holiday ORF and we're going to have a lot more of that because we have a writer named Jane Lamb. We just published her song Seasons and Holidays for ORF and Drums and we're putting all her materials on Music Play Online as well. And then we have virtual instruments. So instrument methods for almost everything that I can think you would use in an elementary school classroom. 